Yeah, so this is a one-day-old baby chick. So today she got delivered to the farm where she's going to live, which happens to be our farm. Now we're going to do our very best over the next days and months and couple years to give this uh, little chick everything she's going to need. Well, Amid Egg Farms has been in business for 75 years now. Uh, it goes back to 1934 when my uncle started uh, picking up eggs from local farmers and delivering them into the Portland area. We are a locally owned, family operated business uh, located right here in Oregon. You know, 90% of the eggs we produce are staying right here. A, a local product is always going to be fresher than something that comes a long ways away. And the other thing is, you know, we're able to have contact with our consumers because they're our neighbors. Company-wide, we have about 2.2 million laying hens. Uh, most of them are here in Canby, and we also have the, the hens up in Moses Lake, Washington. You know, in a day, we probably are um, gathering close to 1.7, 1.8 million eggs. Sometimes you walk in the cooler and you see all those eggs and you think, oh my, where are these all gonna go? But they all seem to find a home. You don't need a rooster to get a hen to lay an egg. See, they're happy to lay eggs without a rooster. It's a very common myth that people think that we use antibiotics and hormones on our hens. And it's simply not true. Our, our hens are healthy. We don't need antibiotics. We make our own feed. We know what goes into that feed. It's tested for quality and purity. And we make sure that our hens get the very best. You know, it's really, for us, it's all about just providing what, what our customers want. At the same time, making sure that we're good stewards, that we're uh, taking good care of our hens, good care of our workers. And that uh, seems to have been a, a successful approach for us. All right, so this is our brooder house where we keep our adolescent birds that are growing up. So let's come on and take a look. And this is a 13-week-old pullet that I'm holding. And they're about seven weeks away from starting to lay eggs. Um, so this is kind of like our uh, flock of teenagers here. Uh, this is our cage-free farm. We, we call it our nest fresh farm. And uh, in this house, we have uh, about a little over 7,000 brown laying hens. My name is Dr. Nancy Reimers. I am a board certified poultry veterinarian. In the cage free environment, we have the hens in very large groups where they're not necessarily able to keep track of their neighbors. They can't establish a solid pecking order, and so you will get a little bit of hen to hen aggression. The main difference um, for us is really the cost of production. You know, for us, it, it'll run 40 to 60 percent more. You experience a little bit higher mortality rates in, in cage free. I get asked a lot by my friends on, on what kind of eggs that they should buy. And, you know, when you look at the science behind it, the reality is we can produce eggs humanely, whether they're cage free or in a cage. We're visiting one of our modern cage laying facilities. Uh, this is one of our larger houses. This, this house actually holds 188,000 laying hens. Uh, the first thing you notice walking in, the air quality in here is outstanding. Uh, it's cool, there's a nice breeze. You, you listen to the hens and you hear a lot of happy sounds. Uh, another thing that most people are very surprised by is just the level of cleanliness in the house. The birds are completely separated from the manure. They're not walking around in the litter, stirring up dust and whatnot. And that's why you see such good air quality in this house. A lot of people are shocked at how many chickens they, they see in a house like this. And there's really, there's some reasons that we've developed facilities like this. Consumers are so consistent in what they want. They want a high quality product and they want it at a low price. What we have to do, first of all, is make sure that our birds are clean and healthy. Healthy birds produce quality eggs. Although it may not be your idea of 
of the barnyard scenario where chickens are running around freely, the fact of the matter is the hens here are healthier than those barnyard birds probably are. And we're able to do this at a much lower cost. Veterinarians and farmers work very hard to make sure that consumers can have that choice of the egg that they would prefer. Consumers should have choices and they should be able to feel good about the food that they're feeding their family. This is the machine where it takes all the eggs and actually turns the pointed end of the egg towards us so that they're all facing the same direction. These are guides that actually just guide the egg down a little ramp where it rolls across the scale. You know, we're lucky to have Willamette Egg Farms as an Oregon industry and a, and a friend and a partner of ours at Oregon Food Bank. Willamette Egg Farms delivers about 720 dozen eggs a week to Oregon Food Bank through, for distribution through our network. Eggs are a really important part of the diet for the people we serve because it's a very compact, concentrated form of protein and in terms of, you know, uh, economics, it's a really inexpensive form of protein. For us to be able to provide something like eggs, to the people we serve, it means those children, which are about 38% of the people we serve, um, they have a great thing for breakfast, for lunches, even for dinner time. We have always been very innovative in what we do in further processing. We break eggs, we cook eggs, we provide just about any type of egg product a consumer would have a requirement for. Willamette Egg Farms goes way beyond what the USDA requires us to do. Food safety is really important and we can't take the chance that something we send out is substandard. That's rewarding to be able to put out a, a good product at a good price and uh, you know and, and treat hens fairly along the way and, and take good care of them. I think the reason that, that we have been successful is, is that we are involved in the day-to-day -day operations of the business. We spend time out in the chicken house looking at the birds, listening to the birds. They are entertaining. You know, if I didn't work here on an egg farm, I would have maybe a few chickens just for kicks. Well, it's always fun to see your eggs in a grocery store. That's the that's the where I always gravitate to whenever I go to the grocery store is the egg case. Yeah, they are. Those are pretty. I want to open the curtains and see how they look. You know. Right, these. Oh, those look good, Lou. I look at the competitors whenever I walk in somebody else's grocery store too. Mm -hmm.